Nobody wants to get united. Like, what we got to do is meet everybody in 149th Street at the bench. Alright, welcome to the bench everybody. This is a Thursday section of my channel where I do a live graffiti critique. I know I've been slacking on these and haven't really been too active with them, so we're going to jump back into them and uh, start off with this little piece by H-E-I-S. Um, I think it's kind of pronounced he's, and uh, I think it's a really well done piece. Uh, pretty simple on the fill, but overall letter structure is pretty, pretty spot on. I have to say that it's very strong but there's just a few pieces I'd like to point out that uh, are potentially up for change that you know might not have uh, been done in the piece the first time around but could be helpful I guess so first off with uh, the letter H it's kind of hard to tell what letter it is off the bat but I think one quick fix will solve that and that's opening up this section over here um, it's pretty common to have openings everywhere pieces overlap but also it's okay to have like this black portion right here um, to have a little bit of a overlapping edge to two bars um, it's a common thing that can be done but if done improperly can really hurt you more than help you so uh, just in this area it kind of cleaned up with a little bit of extra green to uh, take away some of that black in there help to just define the letter it didn't change the structure at all just defines it a little bit more and that allows to have it cross back over and not get too confusing as to what letter it is um, that's really all you really need to do I felt to make sure that H is super defined and the rest of the letters look really good um, the S I love how you worked it into the uh, like crink of the eye and overlapped a little bit as well as the over here you overlap twice um, just two kind of similar overlappings that really help to put the style throughout the piece because you got a nice assortment of straight and uh, curved lines that work well together and then uh, overall support the piece as a whole um, but the biggest thing I would have to say that needs a little bit of work is the letter sizing you got the H coming up with a bar going kind of like starting up in the left and coming down and then the E lines up along that bar so they're both kind of parallel right there and the top of the I does but then it kinks out really hard um, the S follows that same kind of parallel so they're all kind of in line like that um, I think that is really good but this bottom of the eye kind of totally backtracks and shoots off to the side um, even without this section the the piece would be lacking down in there I would have to say so you, it would have to be extended a little bit further straight but I think with uh, this line coming off the S is probably where your momentum was going and you just want to throw the bottom of the eye out in that same direction but I think it really hurts the piece um, so maybe even taking it a little bit less of an angle because right now the bottom of the eye is ending up over here if you keep it straight so maybe if you kept it a little bit more of a vertical line you could have the base of the eye and a little bit closer to the rest of the letters and taking up that negative space that would otherwise be removed if you were to take out the kind of kinked leg down here but I mean overall really like the piece uh, could use a little bit more of the dark green sections you only have three of them and they're all to the right um, I know it's kind of cluttered over in here with the sizing wise as these are some more open spaces it's a little easier to add that um, in but I would definitely suggest at least a few more two more maybe to keep it at an odd number one on either letter uh, the H and the E that is so you can kinda keep uh, the whole piece flowing as well as a consistent fill because you've got these nice black hatches around they're not super consistent as to how they look I really like how you incorporated this section over here with the hatches coming through the outline uh, you kinda guess did that over here but then these ones are just thrown on the letters so I guess working with that to help the piece kinda one get more fulfilled with the flow and the style would just help it a little bit more but in no way is this a bad piece to start you got a really good uh, 3d vanishing point behind the piece as well as good color combo with uh, the dark red I think it is and then the lime green it's a little bit pinkish but I think it's gonna pretty much is a dark red so if you have any suggestions about the critique definitely hit me up in the comment section as well as I'll always throw one of my pieces on the back end of these so you guys can check that out and give me a critique on my own 
workings of the piece of uh, the throw up or whatever I decide to post that week. So uh, this will get you guys a little bit more interacted into the critique series. And if you want to submit some stuff for critique, I critique one a week pretty much and I just select one from the batch that I get sent to my email. I'll put that in the description, all the info you need to send me over there. And if you felt I missed something or I didn't touch on something in the critique or I said something wrong that you totally disagree with, leave that in the comment section below as this is a learning tool for people that come through and do pieces and need help with some just kind of standard terminology and technical stuff that I might uh, have a little bit upper hand on. So that's really going to do it for me. Hit me up in the comment section as well as read through the description as it's always got a couple extra stuff. Be sure to check out my piece that's on screen right now and let me know some things I can change and fix about it. Peace.